When I found out I had diabetes, I didn't tell a soul. I felt ashamed. I had put on a lot of weight and hadn't been eating well, so I was really blaming myself. I didn't want anyone to judge me or say, I told you so. I looked online and I read a lot of information about type 2 diabetes. I thought I could handle it alone. I decided I would just lose weight and change my diet and no one would have to know. After a few years of trying all sorts of medications and still struggling to get my blood sugar down, I ended up with what they call diabetes burnout. I stopped going to church, hanging out with family and friends, and I stopped taking my medicine. I just hit a wall. One day, my friend Trish from church stopped by for a visit, and I finally told her I had diabetes. <laughs> she laughed and said, so do I, as well as 10 other women in the choir. I was so surprised, she convinced me to talk with my family and join a support group. It was the best decision I ever made. Diabetes runs on my dad's side of the family, so my journey has given me the chance to have some important conversations with my kids and grandbabies and nieces and nephews. They've all been so supportive. And as a family, we are all eating better and encouraging each other so that we can live our best lives. My church family has also been my rock. Trish and I even started a support group at the church. We use the New Beginnings discussion guide linked below to kick things off with the group. This section is all about creating community. You'll learn how to join diabetes support groups if you're interested, how to talk with your family about diabetes, and tips on how you can help them help you. There is even information on creating diabetes care kits for emergency situations. And now I know having diabetes is a lifelong journey, not a sprint, but it's one I don't have to travel alone. I have communities of people standing by to encourage me along the way. And now you have some guidance on how to tap into community for your diabetes journey too.